Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is Jeremiah and I make videos all about living with disability as a young adult with a spinal cord injury. In today's video guys, as you guys can probably tell by the title and or thumbnail of this video, we are going to be talking about what is in my everyday carry bag. Now, this is going to be depending on uh, what my situation is because the contents of this bag is going to change depending on what I'm doing. So if I'm gonna be going on a trip or I am going to be just going to the store, going out for a couple hours or I'm out all day and I'm coming back home within a few hours or whatever. So this is just gonna be a broad spectrum as to no matter what I'm doing, the, the, the things and possibilities that I could put, the things that I can potentially have in my bag. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. This right here is the bag itself. It looks smaller or it looks bigger than it really is on camera. Like we're gonna start in a certain order, okay? That this top pack is going to be the first thing that we're gonna do. And it's gonna be from things that I'm gonna be using day to day basis, you know, quick access things, medical, to uh, personal stuff, uh, first aid, whatever, uh, things that I, I use mostly pertaining to my disability. And then this big chungus uh, of a pouch is going to be a broad spectrum of things. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to take out is, well, two things actually, it is adapters for USB or for SD card. So if I'm out and about, let's say I make this video right here and I go out and I have my computer with me by any chance and I want to edit my video. I can edit my videos because this goes and uh, you put in your SD card uh, either on uh, this one right here or you can put it on this one, uh, the USB adapter, slide your SD in there, and you have access to all the files on your SD. Not matter if you are a wheelchair user, disabled, uh, what have you, these are very important for anyone to have with them in their EDC, their everyday carry bag. No matter where you go, it's so important. We have some uh, JLab, uh, USB or not USB Bluetooth uh, uh, earbuds. Next thing we're gonna pull out is wallets. Has my ID, uh, credit card, all those good stuff. I'm obviously not gonna show the back of it, but uh, insurance card, any essentials that you potentially need, whatever it is. Next thing I'm going to pull out is my keys. Uh, we have a uh, little fob on there, keys that I need for anything that I need to access to. We have little, uh, little trinket, little uh, uh, little dog tags right here that have um, scripture on them. And, um, you know, bottle opener for the good times. <laughs> uh, I will say with this bag, it's very good quality. Uh little tassels on the zippers, very strong. The zippers are made out of metal, and so is this little clasp right here that goes and secures uh, this pouch right here. So this is a very well-made bag. It is a, a cross sling, um, a cross sling bag. So you can, I normally wear it in front of me. Okay, so this next pouch is going to be the more, medical slash personal kinds of stuff, okay? We have a hygiene product, and that is a self-cath. Now, those of you who don't know, um, people with spinal cord injuries are not all incompetent, okay? We are not all incompetent because that is a very big uh, misconception about those with spinal cord injuries that we're all incompetent, and that is not true. Next thing we're gonna pull out, another very important piece that anyone who has a spinal cord injury or is, you know, 80% of the time 
uh, in a wheelchair. That is a mirror. This is a very crucial, crucial piece of equipment for those who are constantly in a wheelchair all the time because our skin gets it's it's very fragile and it breaks down super easy so especially us being on our butts all the time our butt our skin our skin on our butt is going to break down very quickly so it is always important to make sure that you don't have any sores or you know bed sores pressure sores anything of that sort that rhyme <laughs> uh going on downstairs so it's always best to have one of these little portable mirrors so you can just go and you know do a quick little look or you know anything on your back or whatever any orifice of your body that you cannot physically see with your eyes it's very important to have one of these with you so you can inspect those areas to make sure nothing is going south next thing we're going to pull out is some ibuprofen uh ibuprofen okay I, I don't know if you can show that on uh, on here so that's probably gonna be blurred but yeah um ibuprofen we have uh disinfectant very important especially those of you who self calf um i just got out of the hospital with the uti so there's that woo so exciting uh lip balm or chapstick whatever you want to call it very important as well and then we have what I like to call, I mean, you can even see on here that I have written on, uh, uh, if it would, uh, yeah, you can see boo-boo kit. That's what it's called to me. It's called a boo-boo kit. Uh, very important because you never know when you're accident prone like me and you're going to do something stupid and you're going to need a bandaid or a tourniquet. Believe it or not, there's a tourniquet in there. We have a multi-tool and also a Leatherman. I'm in a wheelchair, so things are going to break down a lot potentially or just potentially break down on my chair. So we have a selection of different Allen keys, different sizes, all the way down to a half inch, all the way up to a... Ba -da 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 -da. C dash V eight. I have no clue what that means, but it's 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 a big one. Next thing we have is a Leatherman. Very important tool. It's a multi tool. It's got pliers. It's got scissors. It's got a flathead. All of the things that you will possibly need, uh, no matter what the situation is. Okay, so this pouch right here, the biggest one of them all this unzips like that of course because it's just a bag and the first thing we're going to pull out is a pair of um gym shorts okay again in case anything happens spillage leakage whatever happens uh, um, i always wear uh, a pair of gym shorts underneath my regular pants just to add a extra uh, line of protection just in case there is anything that happens accident wise um, always have these very very useful and important for me i am partially well my eyesight i supposedly have 20 20 vision but i still need glasses because i'm nearsighted i think i'm i'm nearsighted or farsighted either one glasses very important a comb because you never know. Wait, did that rhyme? No, it didn't. Never mind. Uh, wooden comb, very important. Um, of course, you need, to, you need to do your hair. You know, you need to you know spiffy up your beard a little bit. Whatever you need to do, very useful. Now, there is nothing more terrible than being stuck in the dark. So, flashlight, very important. You never know. It can be used as an offensive or a defensive tool. If you know what I mean. A pen, because you never know. Maybe you might meet someone. You need to get their number. Pen. Also, I don't have it in here, but uh, any type of writing pad or uh, sticky notes, whatever. Because again, writing... 
uh, writing important information down as someone gives it to you or just simply you need to write something down. Next thing we're going to pull out is a speaker. This is a Insigna because again, if I'm just chilling in the car, you know, all by myself, just chilling and I'm listening to my favorite song on my phone and it's got really good bass, but I can't really hear the bass on just my phone speaker and I really want to hear that bass. I'm going to bring one of these things with me and so I can have myself a good old time. Now, it's also important to have extra uh, cables with you for your chargers, uh, your phone. Uh, in this instance, I also have with me a portable charger. This is a solar uh, solar bank, power bank, by for Patriot. Uh, it is solar pa solar power, so you can just put it out in the sun and it will charge. And of course, uh, extra cords for your phone, the charger bank or the uh, power bank itself. And it even has a little carabiner so you can hang it up somewhere. Now, now the... I can't show this. Can I show this on... No, I... No, I, I, I can't show this. I, I can't show this. I, I can't show this. This, this is going to be blurred. This is going to be blurred. Um, that's going to be blurred. Can't show that. Um, a defensive tool. Just going to leave it at that. Now, the last thing in here is the biggest item of them all, and y'all are going to probably think how... And the did you get this in here? Well, here it is. The last object, well, technically two objects, but last thing we have in here is a computer. Uh, it's not a full laptop. It is a Chromebook. It is a Lenovo. <laughs> it is a it is a Len Lenovo uh, Chromebook. Uh, I, forget, I forget the exact name of it, but it is a Chromebook. It's from Lenovo. And, of course, the charger itself right in here. So that pretty much concludes the end of this little uh, what's in my EDC bag as a person with a spinal cord injury. Uh, the, there were some things that pertained to my disability, but uh, literally everything that I would potentially need no matter what the situation is, where I'm at, uh, I try and carry as many of those things as I possibly can with me because, as I said in the beginning of the video, it, you might not want to potentially be constantly changing your bag out for what you're doing. So, in a way, it's best to kind of just carry all of the, the essentials that you need no matter what. I do want to say there's going to be a lot of big things happening, guys. I promise you. Uh, in July, me and my best friend, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, cannot wait, but me and my best friend, we're going to take a little trip to Orlando, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say any more, because I want it to be a surprise, but very big things are happening in the month of July, so if you want to see those things, guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, make sure you turn on post notifications bell so you don't miss any future uploads in the future, no matter what. And without any further ado, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.